360 pounds. I'm going to be making a video about my parking lot. Uh, it's pretty old, 20, 25 years, and uh, it's had some patching over the years, but it's in bad shape. It needs to be totally redone. Um, now's not really a good time. For the last uh, few years, three, four years, I've been spending money on my cabin. Three to five thousand dollars a year, as a matter of fact. Um, I put a new roof on it. I had the electrical upgraded. Uh, just recently, we put in uh, a new air conditioning system. So maybe next year or so, we'll be able to redo the parking lot. I want to enlarge it and uh, have it retopped. But for now. It's a mess, and uh, it needs some attention. So uh, I went and bought some uh, asphalt patch. I'll show you what that looks like. I think the sunlight's going to mess with us. But I bought, uh, there's six bags. I bought four previously um, yeah they're there and I'm probably gonna buy another five or six this is this is what I've been buying and uh, it seems like it's a pretty good product I did already get started I wanted to see how it would work and uh, that's one of the holes that I filled it seemed to do pretty good uh, but right now I'm gonna be working on this incline part of the driveway there's a mess there's a mess it's, it's pretty sunny and shady and so I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick this up this is what I was working on this morning I used up four bags and I was within an hour I was absolutely drenched drenched and uh, worn out <laughs> so I may only do a bag or two now we'll see So the first thing you want to do is sweep it out. Get the loose rocks like right here. I'm still going to have to sweep all that. All that loose stuff needs to come out. Just get it kind of clean. And, uh, and then we'll top it.
board, smooth it out a little bit. Kind of like, kind of like concrete a little bit. Might have got a little too much right here. Let's spread this out here. After you get it kind of flattened out a little bit, you want to tamp it down. Just to get it compacted a little bit.
I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I'm just trying to see if I can uh, get some kind of perspective on the incline of this driveway. It's pretty steep. So right now I'm holding the camera level and my parking lot leans probably, I don't know, 15 degrees downhill at least. And then it starts going up, up, up. And by the time it gets to the top of the hill up there, it's, uh, it's a pretty steep climb for a short ways. But I also want to show what I've gotten done on the road. I still have, on the patch, I still have quite a bit to do. Probably another, um, I don't know, six bags just to just to fill the holes and the loose spots like right there. And there's another one up there by my front tire. And then there's some more under the car and behind the car. But anyway, um, so these are the couple that I got down at the bottom of the hill. And then uh, as you start traveling up the hill, it's, it's kind of important to keep the road clean of gravel and rocks and stuff so your tires don't spin. And then, uh, yeah, so I got these holes patched. It's, you can tell by looking at the, uh, the old oil sand what's, what's there. It's cracked and it's not in great shape but uh, just trying to do something for like I said a year or so and see if I can get a little more miles out of it and keep it going but um, that asphalt stuff works pretty good I'll show you here um, it's uh, where are we there we are right there so it's you can see it's just little bitty gravel. I probably didn't need any right there because that's gonna not gonna stick. But all this stuff is just some kind of little gravel that's got coated with some kind of oil, oil product. And hopefully, after it heats up and melts a little bit and gets packed down, it'll all stick together. So. Anyway, I guess for now that's the end of this.